Welcome back everybody. Today's review, as you can see from the title, is from the house of Nikolai. This is patchouli intense. It about a year ago, just under a year ago, I took the plunge and decided to get myself a small bottle of New York Intense, which I've already reviewed, uh, and you can check out the link here. And because uh, I didn't want to spend, I mean, I didn't want to make a small purchase I was buying from overseas and to make the shipping, I guess, more worth it, I decided to blind buy another perfume from the house. And based on stuff I'd read, I went with Patchouli Intense. Also, at the time, I think I was like, right, really getting into patchouli fragrances in general. And little did I know that when I first smelled patchouli intense, it would be absolutely nothing like I expected it to be. So let me try and describe to you <clears throat> what patchouli intense from Nikolai smells like. This was released in 2009. And I think it was originally released uh, under the name Patchouli Porom uh, and then later on changed to Patchouli Intense. When I first spray this on, there, there is, you know, where you, were, where you might expect this earthy green patch when you read a name like Patchouli Intense, your mind sets you up for this kind of expectation, but yet when you spray patchouli intense, you get this wonderful blast of aromatic accords. Look, th this is blended so well in that nothing really sticks out so much, but you, you get this blend, I guess, blend of rose geranium and lavender it's a big smack in the face in the beginning this is a big big perfume and that particular accord to, to my mind has a really strong retro sensibility about it and what i mean by that is and this is going to be an individual thing. It's very specific to my life experience, I guess. What I mean by that is this, this reminds me of late 70s, early 80s, maybe hair products or spray, hairspray or some kind of grooming products that were used and not necessarily masculine either. I, the first time I smelled this, I just like, I just got this real hairspray vibe something like one of my aunts used might have might have used back when I was a little kid but it but it is but it's obviously not uh not as maybe bad as that might sound it there is there is this synthetic feel about this but all in a much in a very positive way the way the way that era was synthetic in that, you know, like the trying to create a new accord. There is nothing about patchouli intense that smells like, that really smells like nature or being outside in a garden. And, you know, it's not, it's not that type of fragrance. So it's created this very powerful accord um, and it's all underpinned by a little bit of sweetness. And I think it's mainly from from some kind of amber accord that sits in the base, that definitely sits in the base here. Um, and it's spiced up with something sweet, like maybe cinnamon, perhaps. Yeah, some, some kind of sweet spice is in there as well. Uh, there is a sweetness that underpins it all as well. The patchouli here is, it's interesting because I get, I'm not gonna lie and say, oh yeah, I can smell the patchouli. Not the patchouli that I recognize in other patchouli dominant scents. Uh, I feel that the patchouli here is, is what is kind of holding everything together and it's used more as a fixative to this perfume than anything else and perhaps retains some of the sweeter aspects of patchouli, but I don't know if it's that or other ingredients. It's just, it's just 
so, so well blended as I've come to find in other Nikolai perfumes. Now, what the other thing I've discovered about this perfume is that this can smell different. Well, it, if I'm trying to test this and smelling it this close to my arm, it is a different experience to just wearing it. Now, let me just tell you, and I think I've mentioned this before in other videos, Patchouli Intense is probably the longest lasting perfume I have in my whole wardrobe. And I've got some pretty strong perfumes there, but this just smells almost as strong at the, at the end of the day as it does at the beginning. And it projects wonderfully well. I don't, I don't know. It'll probably will if you overspray it, but I don't know if it is uh, a room filler in that it projects a, a good distance, but like I have just never had trouble walking around wearing this and just sm knowing that I'm wearing it. Uh, so when I smell like this off, you know, closer to my skin, it smells different. And, and I think it's just the way, the way my nose is reacting to certain ingredients here. It's different to the way it actually performs. So it's one thing to keep in mind with this particular perfume uh, when you're testing it is, I, if you're testing this, I definitely recommend having several wears where you just wear it and not overthink it, not try to work out what you're smelling, just enjoy it if you like the smell, but you will definitely have a, a different experience. I would say that this, doesn't develop a hell of a lot. So in in that respect, you if you like the opening, um, that's a good thing because you're pretty much gonna get that that whole accord all the way through the, the wear of patchouli intense in a day. Um, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't change a hell of a lot other than those opening fresher notes just sort of being muted a little bit. Uh, but the best way I can describe this, this is almost to me because of the lavender and the geranium. It's almost a fougere cross with a sheepra. It doesn't get very mossy in, in the base. And if you like things like, uh, and I'm not by any means saying these two perfumes are similar, but if you're a fan of things like Lagerfeld Classic, by Karl Lagerfeld. That style of perfume, um, which is a little bit brash, it's a little bit loud. Um, I think Patchouli Intense is is created in that spirit as well, and and I, and I just really enjoy it. This is not a subtle perfume, so I wouldn't say it's, it's as versatile as something like. New York Intense, for instance, uh, it is it is loud. It is a statement maker if you if you overspray this one. But I just really really enjoy it. It might be probably to some people uh, not very modern smelling, uh, and I think this type of perfume is like would suit both men and women equally, actually, because. And the reason being is that, uh, is that the first impression I got of it was of, uh, of hair products, which I associated with the women uh, uh, in my life when I was growing, growing up. So there is that aspect of it. Uh, it's, it's actually quite an unusual perfume and um, just an awesome performer, beautiful smell to me. But cons are that, you know, it can be loud. It's a little bit brash. It, it might be a little bit retro or anachronistic to some people, not as versatile, but if you love this type of thing, you have to, have to try it because uh, Patchouli Intense is one of my luckiest blind buys. Let's put it that way. Uh, and that's really all I have to say about it. 
thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know uh, what you think in the comments if you've tried Patchouli Intense by Nikolai. I'll see you later. Bye.